and welcome to Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for the 16th of October 2023. We hope you had a good weekend. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, US equities are mixed on Friday. The Nasdaq underperformed was down 1.2%. The Dow managed to eke out small gains of around about 0.12% after early bank earnings were received well. So JP Morgan jump along with Citigroup. Earnings season does ramp up this week with around about 11% of the S&P 500 due to report this week. And then, of course, we ramp up further again next week. Really important earnings season. There is expected to be very, very small growth. About 0.04% is expected. Early signs have been good, but there's only, of course, 6% of the S&P 500 reported to date. So we will report on that as we go through earnings season. But there is a chance that there will be significant surprises to the upside in light of the somewhat cautious guidance given. US futures are mildly positive in the early Asian session and Asian markets are generally lower at this stage following Friday's weak lead from Wall Street and concerns about what's happening in the Middle East. The ASX is down about 0.2% with materials and energies outperforming. Uh, the VIX is slightly higher and the European futures are pointing to a lower open at this stage. USD moved slightly higher on Friday. It's softer in Asia so far. But despite this USD strength, we saw a significant move in gold of around about 3%, back over $1,900 and the 200 MA. The buyers are very much back in. However, copper didn't fare quite so well. It's trading near support as we had another negative session on Friday. All moved higher again with conflict escalation. Be interesting to see where that goes this week. And Bitcoin has gapped up in Asia to move back over the 200 EMA for right now. Japanese industrial production, Eurozone trade balance, the only data of note on an otherwise quiet day. Of course, earnings will be in focus, not only today, but over the course of the next few days. Let's have a look at a couple of charts at Core RI today. Gold stocks are all doing well today. And you can see here, Northern Star Resources has breached the 200 MA. It is at the highest level since the beginning of September. Probably a little premature maybe to get into this one yet, but we like this level at around about 11.84 as one to watch out for. And if we do get this continued buying into gold, it could be one that has significant upside, certainly up to potentially $13 in the medium term. Now, the Australian dollar has looked quite strong today. And you can see here, we are tackling a pivot on the Aussie yen. We'll put it on a short-term chart just so you can see the detail. We flatlined essentially into the end of the week. And we've had one test of this pivot level at 94.36 already. A little bit of a pullback uh, and we're testing it again. I think the upside here is possibly up around 35 pips or so. The higher probability trade is probably if it breaches 94.80 where we had this significant and straight down move here back on Thursday. So short term potential trade here, uh, but a better trade possibly if you're a little patient. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.